Hello, everybody. So today we're going to talk about the CSV, the Alt Sound CSV, and some tips and tricks. So basically, it's structured like this. You can see that these are columns, and these are your headings for your columns, right? So we have the IDs, we have the channel assignments, the duck amount, the gain, which is the volume, loop amount right here where the hundreds are, uh, stop is the last number column, and then you have name and file name. The main thing with the IDs is you don't really change those because those are the events that are happening in the game. Um, what you're changing is what happens when those events are called, right? So the only time you want to mess, uh, and you're not even really messing, but let's see here how I have like multiple uh, uh, hex codes with the same value here. These are all like four twos, right, in a row. All that is doing, you'll see over here that they're different file names for each one. So what uh, Alt Sound will do is when this code is called, if there's multiple files with the with the same code assignment, it'll randomize it. Comes with channels, there's not uh, too much to know. Channels are basically used because things on the same channel are gonna, when one plays, the other's gonna stop. So they're not gonna play over each other. So that's why you see uh, music, you're always gonna assign to channel zero. That's just the way God intended it. Just, that's all you need to know. Music's always gonna be channel zero. Uh, the sound effects, you don't have to put any channel assignment and that randomizes it. it picks a random channel and that's good for sound effects because they can do their sound effects thing and kind of play all over the place right and then channel one here you'll see is typically used for like uh, musical interludes and stuff that comes in over the top and uh, on that note if you look at the duck value here you'll see that it's d down to 10%. Now, I don't know if it's really percentages, don't quote me on that, I just it's easier to think of it like that. The point is 10 is low. What this is doing, the duck value here, is when this file plays, what volume do you want the music to go to? So that you know all the sound effects and the music aren't all clashing at the same time and fighting for frequencies, and you want things to duck to make room when they trigger, and that's what the duck value is. So. Sound effects here, so like when rodeo sound plays, the music drops to 80%. The reason that might not seem like a lot, but 80 is good for uh, most of the sound effects because you just kind of want the music to dip a little bit to make room for the sound effect. If you have everything, like you see some things are like 40 and 10. If I had, you know, 50, 40, 30, 70, and I'm all over the place, the music is just going to be jumping all over the place and sound really bad and coming in and out right so we have to find a value that's kind of like in the middle so typically like call outs here I have them a little lo louder because I'm bumping stuff up so I have a 70 so what that's saying is when nothing but a little hole happens uh, as a call out the music dips down to 70 percent of a hundred percent right so 100 percent is full volume that's normal it's dipping down 30 percent I'm making that as confusing as possible, I'm sure, but um, hopefully you get the gist. So next is gain, and I know that's one that a lot of you want to know about. Like, do I have to go in and change each value one at a time if I want to, you know, there's a lot of files here. Do I have to do them one by one if I want to make everything louder, right? That's the big question. Well, there is a better way, I'm glad to say. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Dondi in the Discord and on Facebook. He showed me uh, what you want to do is take like, like you've seen up here, but take the commas and the, leave the spaces and something that's going to be very specific. Right? If I just took 61, obviously that's going to be a problem. There's 61s everywhere. So if I go to replace that, big issues, right? So we want it to be specific to what we're trying to replace. So he showed me if you just take... You include the spaces and you keep the commas and you, everyone else probably knows this but I I, I didn't um, and you put that so 8061 and then I put 8061 here and then I say what I want it to be right so 8061 I want to make 8091 and because it has the commas and the spaces and everything you hit replace all boom now those are all 8091 and I'm done a lot faster a lot easier 
and a great way to edit these values quickly if you need to. Okay, so that is gain. Loop, don't really need to worry about that too much other than obviously we don't want sound effects and we don't want callouts looping, that would be weird. So we just wanna loop the music, right? So that's all it is. So 100 is infinite loop. Zero is no loop. And that is loop. And then the last column of values is stop. And I've never, never touched that. So if any of you know how or why you would use that, let me know in the comments. And then here's one that's kind of a good tip. Obviously, file names are file names, and they need to match what's in the folders, right? But the name in uh, quotation marks can be whatever you want without affecting anything else negatively, and that is the important thing to know. So, you know, when the computer spits it out, a lot of time you get same as the 32 winning. I mean, that that's the same as the file name. That does not help us. But if I label it ball weight, you can put use it almost like a notes section. You know what I mean? Just put notes in there. Okay. So that is that. And then the file name is the file name. So that is the CSV, boys and girls. Get in there, mess around. Oh, speaking of that, one last tip that I, uh, that I uh, wanna make sure to give to you is make sure all your uh, parentheses and commas and file names and dots and dashes are all in the right place uh, when you save it. And when you use it with VPX. Okay, that is the final tip. Thank you all for hanging out. That is the Alt Sound CSV. Fun for the whole family. And uh, good night.